Hello again, YouTube Truth Man here. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simp, and All Subjects channel. I know this is a long title, but I want you to know where you at and what we doing and what we're here. Bad hair day, y'all. It's early. Just drop my sons off. But I want to get this out while I'm thinking about it. So... I talked about Savannah James yesterday and how uh, she once again threw LeBron James under the bus. If y'all haven't noticed, I have. Sometimes with some, not all, not all. Don't come on here and give me one example. Some women, once they get their sons, it's like, how they really felt about you comes out. That's just how they are, man. That's just how I see it a lot with black women. I see it with white women. Maybe the reason I'm sure they all do it, but maybe the reason why I see it with those two is because those are the main two groups of women that are around me. So I see it with both. They get their sons. They start acting different towards the father. Because they look at it like they don't need the father to provide for them anymore. Because their sons are doing. And that's, that's one of the things that you deal with when you're dating. When you have a relationship with these women. You start having kids with these women you marry these women that's one of the main things that men deal with a lot of men ain't got the insight and the intuition to see it so with some guys it goes unnoticed but if they watch this it's gonna click sometimes you gotta hear somebody else mention something for <clears throat> something to go that's been going on in your life to be brought to your attention. What I want to do on this video is I'm going to talk a little bit about single mothers. And I'm going to talk a little bit about this, like having kids with them, stuff like that. In case you didn't see it, make sure you watch the video, hit the like button. I turned on my phone last night and I saw an article where Savannah James was saying that she don't know if she'll be with LeBron if he didn't get drafted by the Cavaliers. She letting you know that she's with him for money. And I told y'all, I told y'all, that's what I'm going to talk about today. Out of the abundance of a person's heart, the mouth speaks. Don't let people tell you they didn't mean it when they say something that they done said multiple times. You meant it. I'm a, I'm a, in the Sunday sermon, I'm going to go into detail as to what the Messiah was saying when he was talking about that. He was showing you how the heart works. So we got all these single mothers. My, my, my kids, my kids, my kids. And I'm going to show you something. Anytime your girl, your wife says that, she's proving that she's no different from the other women that say it. She's proving it to you. Has your girl or wife said this to you? My kids? Let me let me enlighten you on how crops and farming work. The ground and the seed are both needed, right? But the ground without the seed is just sitting there to be seen. Y'all get it? How many empty 
lots have y'all rolled past in your life. No crops on it, not cultivated, just there. Uh, when a woman has a man and she's not having kids, she has to find another way to prove to her man that she's just not just there. Whether it be working, bring some, bringing some of the wealth home, helping him build his empire, helping him build his empire in whatever way she choose. But when they have children, a man and a woman, It ain't no my kids. What you are, are those not his kids? Why you saying my? Like they ain't his kids. With a lot of them, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised. Some of these women is so sneaky. You and some of these guys are unsuspecting. unsuspecting they'll go have a kid with these guys and act like it's the other guy the guy that's there the guy she married to the guy she going with the guy that's paying the bills when she had her ankles on his shoulders in this back seat of his jeep Whole car like that. Got people riding past. What what they doing over there? He got the dumb his kid. He got her friend. And then look, let me show you how simpy some of these guys are. Cause I'm not letting them off the hook. They'll do it once and get away with it, and they'll do it again. And the whole time in their mind they'll be knowing. Those kids is theirs. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you this no disrespect to Michael Jordan's ex-wife. But why do some of her kids with him not look as much like him as Jimmy Butler? If y'all saw my old video. Jimmy Butler, he looked a lot like, and I read the story about Michael Jordan being his father. And now you got another one that got slightly favors him in Anthony Edwards. You now watch this. I ain't trying to. If you look at Anthony Edwards and Jimmy Butler, don't they favor? Same build. Look kind of like strange, ain't it? Same ears. I don't know. Mad skills on the court. It's weird. So... They say, my kids, my kids. Let me show you some. Yes, a single mother can take some credit. Or not single mother, but a mother can take some credit, including single mothers, when their kids turn out well. But the father, when he's there, even if he works a lot, he's there. He's having an impact. Because when the father is in the house, that family, that household is under the order of the very most high God. So anytime you have a wife that her behavior, her actions divides her household, you can say what you want. 
she going to have to get that right with the most high when, she, when they do that. When they do that, she that's like giving yourself a black eye spiritually. Punching yourself in the face spiritually if it was such a thing. When your behavior and your actions divide your house, whether it be you, lazy sex, no sex, arguing all the time, being disrespectful, cheating. When a woman has any part in the division of her household, it's like she punched herself in the face. I was told by the one at home that she had a dream. And in the dream, she basically saw how our sons would have turned out if I wasn't there. And trust me, the bloodline they got in them Now, she did an excellent job with him, but it wouldn't be the same if I wasn't there. She could say what she wanted. You only, look at all the single mother. I only could think of a couple of my friends that came out on top of that. And one of them, he came out on top because he still had a lot of good examples of men around him. And his father was coming around and stuff, he just wasn't around the run but he always went over his grandparents house his grandfather was a little man he wasn't that big but he was tough and he learned a lot from his grandfather his uncles look look these kids need their dad if he's not on drugs, if he a regular guy, even if he just work a job, even if he don't got money like that, if he around and he know how to instill morals in them and show them what it takes to be a man and stuff like that. See, these women, they get arrogant. People don't believe women can be arrogant and conceited and and. and but they do all the time. They want to believe that they more, some of these women, this is how you know the ones that's going to end up messing with a woman. That some of them, they just want to be a man so bad where they don't respect men. And, when, and watch out for a woman that don't respect men. She could say what she wants, but she'll be open to it. Different situation. Getting away with one. A lot of these women, they just don't respect men. I don't know why they always talking about they want a man and they don't even respect men. Want a man for what? So you can ridicule him? So you can emasculate him? So you can treat him like he ain't nothing? So you can put people in front of him? that ain't doing nothing for you? What, what you want a man for? But these single mothers, they want to, when stuff go wrong, they always want to blame the father. But in some of those situations, you got to look at yourself. Like if you remember, y'all that say he was boring, you arguing with him, you fighting with him, he got tired of it and left. Now you got to raise them on your own and then what about the ones of y'all that don't let your kids' father see his kids? You and you don't let them see his kids, but then you want to blame him when they go bad. So in other words, okay, I get it. I can explain it for you. You want him to stick around only if you're the leader. I understand. I'll explain it for you. You want him to stick around to buy gifts and to give you money and buy you cars and stuff. I get it. 
Because when you don't submit to him, when you don't follow his lead, but yet you won't leave, yet you won't uh, show him respect. And the worst ones is the ones that are disrespect him right in front of the kids. You can say what you want. I don't care about that Bible stuff. You could you could try to pretend like you're so spiritual. If if you doing that, we already know you ain't there. Because it's women that ain't even went to church their whole life that ain't doing that. So if you doing that, why should we believe that you got God in you like that? You disrespecting that man in front of his kids. So of course. He gonna, he gonna get, what man gonna just sit back and take that? Who gonna sit back and take that, man? Y'all gonna be hurling insults towards each other, right in front of the kids. You then and people is weird. Okay, you won't say nothing about him to, to other people. But you'll say stuff about him in front of the kids. You might as well talk about him in front of everybody. Because that's worse. To to disrespect a man in front of his kids. Man, you already know uh Bryce. And uh, Bronny be watching her show. So what she's saying is, speaking of Savannah, Savannah James, is that if he wasn't on the Cavs, he wouldn't be their father. She still would have had kids. That's what she's saying. I see it all the time in Milwaukee. I see bukus of women. Sometimes he might be at work. They might have a man. Maybe he at work sometime. But you see a whole bunch of them, just them and the kids. You can't tell me that all of these guys are just bad guys. Some of these guys got ran off. Y'all don't think, see, when a woman gets in her loftiness and her conceit, she can't see the error of her ways. D, you can't, I see them in action. I know they done ran some of these dudes off. And he was smart to run. Who, I don't, y'all already know. I don't believe in staying where you're not wanted or where you're not appreciated. There's in many places you could be. Y'all know I don't believe in that. Y'all can't tell me that these women ain't running these guys off. Men want sex and they want it in a fun way. They don't want uh, hurry up. You just doing this so he won't cheat on you. Because it's gonna if he if he gets another woman, it's gonna hurt your ego. So you would give him that sex. You don't even want to do it with him. You really wanna give it away to other dudes. Because all these women want to get banged by somebody. So when they don't want to bang the dude they with, that's what it be. They want something out here. I gave y'all the example. If the most High was like, go ahead, have as many men as you want, and I'm still going to keep my arms open for you. And then the man said, yeah, go ahead. What he said. There'll be, oh, oh. <laughs> getting annihilated.
I ain't trying to hear it. They'll be getting broke off. But these single mothers, and if a dude is dumb enough to be a stepdaddy to your kids, you letting your kids disrespect them? If you a stepdaddy and her kids disrespecting you, and she doing it or she laughing at it, get up out of there. Get out of there. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you go back no more, no more, no more, no more. Blew my mind. Just, just because I was young don't mean the things that I had in my mind concerning women were not right. I was thinking one day, like, I was right about that. I was right about this. I was right about that. Till now I'm back on track. Now I'm going to focus on what I want, like I should have did back when I was in college. But the single mothers... These kids need their fathers, man. Need to stop running these guys off. Need to let him see his kids. Yo, little new dude is not their father. You know what you're doing. That's not their father. If he wants to be in their kid's life and he's not in jail, he's not dead, let him be in his kid's life. Don't be hiding letters. Don't be trying to change numbers, taking their phones so they can't talk to them. Don't do none of that evil stuff. They need their father. And these single mothers need to realize that these kids need their father. I know you arrogant and conceited and you think you a boss B, you got it going on, but they need their dad. And some of y'all know you've been standing in the way. The devil got a hold of you. You married, you supposed to follow his lead. You don't try to go elsewhere. If he say we going this way, you supposed to go that way. That's what make you a bad woman. You ain't no better than that hoochie mama in the hood. Because you won't follow a man either. You want to talk about her and all her kids. This what you do when women get to talking and then apply to them.